GSM Nare Technical Campus Pune. In this video, we are going to see the experimental verification of the general formula in bending for cantilever heat. Here, we are going to use a cantilever beam which is having depth of beam that is 4 mm, the width of beam is 40 mm, and length of beam we are considering 500 mm. In this experiment, uh, at cantilever 3 a we are going to have a load at the pre end in the step of 200 grams, like uh, up to 800 grams, like 200, the second is 400, then 600 and 800 grams. And by adding each load, we are going to measure the deflection at pre end. Now, in the experimental setup, you can see here. This, uh, this is a 500 mm length uh, beam which is supported at one end, fixed at one end and as we mentioned in the observation table, the width, this dimension is 40 mm, the thickness is 4 mm okay? and this dial edge which is supported by this stand with permanent magnet which is just touch to the free end in order to measure the deflection at this free end. Now we are going to add 200 mm grams, 200 grams at free end, and we are going to measure the deflection by using this dial gauge. Now you can see here one of one of the reading here uh, the total reading deflection here we can find as 2.56 mm 2.56 mm then for second or I will also note down this readings here 2.56 then for uh, 400 gram we can see here uh, 4.18 or 4.18 again if you add 600 gram then here 6.80 that is third reading 6.80 and for 800 gram Here we can see 8.18. 8.18. Now I will write all these readings here 2.56 at the deflection, which is in mm, another is 4.18 uh, for 600. Gram was 6.80, 6.80, and here 8.80. Now these are our experimental deflections. Now we are going to calculate, or we are going to verify these experimental deflections with theoretical deflection by using a formula, standard formula for cantilever beam and deflection. Act. After that, by comparing these deflections with a theoretical deflection, we are going to find out the Eng's modulus and uh, bending strength. And we are going to compare those things and finally we will uh, find the errors in theoretical and uh, practical measurements. You can see here observation table or cantilever beam. Uh, in this column, you can see the deflection in error in, uh, in the uh, percentage error in deflection, and this column percentage error in Eng's models. The properties of beams are calculated by using this formula. The theoretical deflection is calculated by this formula, where W is weight. And the Eng's modulus E is calculated using this formula, and for 
for one of the sample calculation you can see here the Young's modulus is equal to 178 MPa.